Hello there, and welcome to a little video all about the Wood Elves rework, and more specifically, which tree to choose to attack. Now if you haven't seen CA's presentation on how the rework works, I'll give you a brief explanation for those who don't know. I will call mild spoilers on this video if you don't want to know what's on the end of all the different trees, you might want to come back to this. First, how the new mechanics work. So, both Durthu and Orion, still starting in Athol Loren as they always have, are given the task of healing the Oak of Ages, because it's now a forest settlement that we need to bring back to full strength to win the campaign. You can see it has this bar here, which is currently at 46 of 500. And as we fill up this bar, we're going to gain some benefits to the faction, which are always going to help us out. But the main goal is to get up to that 500. If we look at the victory conditions, the short victory conditions, at the end of the turn, make sure you got 500 Athol Loren Forest Health. Then you'll have the Defense of the Oak battle to win, and you'll also have to complete the Ritual of Rebirth, which is kind of like a Vortex Ritual. You start it off with this button here, and then it'll count down X amount of turns, and you'll be attacked by various armies while you wait. So fill up the Tree Health Bar, do a Ritual, win the campaign. Easy, right? Fairly simple campaign objectives. But how do we fill up this tree health bar? Well, that's where it's not so easy. We need to travel the world and take over a whole bunch of these forests that are scattered over the Mortal Empire's map. The Forest of Gloom here, Griffin Wood, the Lawlorn Forest up in the north there, Gainvale in Ulthuan, or however the hell you say that, the Witchwood over in the west. Down the bottom, we've got Lizardmen World with the Sacred Pools Forest, and then over down the bottom, right in the south, Orion's Camp. So seven forests that will all heal the eighth. And to get around them, we use the Deep Roots mechanic, which you can read about up here. Basically lets you travel anywhere, but it does have a cooldown. So you can use it, and then you have to wait about 10 turns normally before you can travel again. So you can't just fly around all over the place, unless of course you wait the 10 turns. So that's the gist of it. Heal them up, and then it heals the Oak of Ages. You don't have to go to all of them. Don't panic, you don't need to go to all seven forests and fix them. You can do this, I think, with just one forest. It'll just take a long time. But we also have these new encounters as well that come with it. You can see the symbol on the floor here. This will start a little battle when we run an army into it. And this is actually hurting the Oak of Ages right now. It's putting a negative effect, a minus one to the forest health. So we've got to try and get rid of that as soon as we can. But how do we heal all these forests then? Well, pacifying the heathlands is the first option. That means taking all the settlements around the forest and controlling them will heal the forest. So I'd have to take all this Bretonian stuff and some of the Dwarven stuff to heal the Oak of Ages with the heathlands around it. The other elf factions in Athol Loren don't count because they're obviously part of the forest. So you could do that, but it would be a lot of work and a lot of wars. You can see all the effects here on the forest, the positives and the negatives. We've got that minus one from the unresolved encounter. That's that little thing I showed you earlier, this over here. If I come over and fight this battle and get rid of it, that will give a nice bonus to the tree. So it's the same idea with all of the other forests around. The Forest of Gloom here, this is the first one I took, it's at 76. You only need to get all the other forests to 100, not 500. And then you can do a little ritual of rebirth, defend it, and that forest will kind of be secure then, and it'll keep giving health to the Oak of Ages, no matter of the stuff going on around it. You can see I'm getting plus two to this forest here. As I've got those two regions north of me controlled, I took them off Skaven. This was a quite easy one to take. The settlement itself was controlled by Greenskins at first. I came over, took it off them, and then went north and took those two settlements to get some pacified heathlands around. And it was quite easy to get all that done, but I don't really want to go any further. So this is kind of a bad spot because you've got all the dwarfs around. Barakvar, you've got Karaza Karak over here, although it's been taken by the Greenskins, which is probably even worse. There was Border Princes over here, been taken by the Golden Order, and now there's some Lizardmen attacking them. So it's all going on over here, but I don't really want to attack the dwarfs to try and get those extra heathlands. So I'm just going to kind of let it go slowly. It's going to be a slow grower, this tree. I could make it go faster if I take out those settlements around it, but... It's a lot of work and a lot of wars, and I'm not sure I can defend against all the dwarfs and the greenskins down there. So that one is not maybe the best tree to go for first. Griffin Wood, this was quite easy to take as I came here with pretty much a full stack, big army. I took all three of these settlements in a fairly quick swoop. They controlled all of those. I had to take them out to take out the faction. So I just went with those three, even though they're a bit random, and only one of them really helps me, I think. But it was quite an easy one to take. Again, a bit of a slow grower. You can see I've got an unresolved encounter there that I could make this one a little bit better with. I need to come over here and sort this out. But I've got to take the time here. I've got to use the world roots, come over there, and then I've got to hang around there for 10 turns before I can use the world roots again to go somewhere else. So it can be a little bit fiddly trying to get rid of these things, but this wasn't a bad one to take. But as you can see, I'm surrounded by vampires. So I don't really have a lot of options to expand unless I want to go to war with vampires all around me. So Griffinwood, easy enough to take, but not a great one for expanding your pacified heathlands. 
Now to Law, Law and Forest, this is a bit of a better one I think. I haven't taken it in this campaign but in a different Wood Elf campaign that I'm not allowed to show you yet. I have pacified all the heathlands around this forest but I should also mention that sometimes you get an easy way to take the forest. So like this mission here, it says to defeat an army of the Bowmen of Arian and if I do I'll get to confederate their faction which means I'll easily take control of this tree which they currently have a hold of. So that's quite an easy mission. If you can draw them out of that settlement and get them to fight you and then beat them they'll be yours. So it's a nice easy mission to take over the actual settlement. You don't have to fight the garrison and the massive army that they've got stationed there if you can pull off the mission. So with Lawlorn Forest I had one of these missions and the mission was to beat any Norsecan faction in a battle so I came up north, sailed over, attacked one of their settlements that didn't have anyone there, it was super easy and I got confederation of this big army and the settlement itself so it was a really easy take. So you're going to have those missions probably for all of the different settlements. This is just the one that worked for me for Lawlorn Forest and then around it it was just like Midland and it was Empire Army so it was quite easy to take and pacify all the heathlands around it so I could heal that forest quite quickly. So I had a pretty comfortable and easy time with that forest. I did go over there with a full army I should say so that obviously makes things a little bit easier. Over in the Witchwood with one of the new factions that currently controls this. I've only taken this when playing as the faction so I'm not sure what it's like trying to take it as someone who doesn't already own the province and you've got to try and get the settlement off that faction. I imagine there's a mission but it wasn't too hard to take all the stuff around it. You had some friendly tomb kings over here and then I think there was some crappy maybe green skins but definitely dark elves around as well. So this one wasn't too hard to take and to pacify the heathlands. It is against the edge of the map as well, so that gives it a nice bit of a defensive position, but taking it off the original faction might be the hard bit. Over in Gain Vale, or however the hell you say that, this one I think is probably quite hard in Ulth 1 with all the High Elves who are all buddies and stuff. It could be a little bit difficult. There is a settlement over there you can take quite easily, but then coming back here you've got to try and get rid of the main army and the garrison. Didn't seem to get a mission to try and get rid of them, so I'm not sure. This one seems like it's going to be quite hard. I haven't really committed to it and tried it though, so it might be really easy. Who knows? But for me, found this one that I'd probably just leave till last or just completely avoid. Down south, we've got the Sacred Pools, a Lizardmen controlled forest. That instantly makes it sound quite tedious, as fighting the Lizardmen can be. And I did actually come down to try and take this one, but there was a big Lizardmen army there at the time, but it doesn't seem to be now, so the settlement's probably quite easy to take with only a nine garrison, so... Maybe we'll try that in a sec actually, we'll see what we can do. I'm not sure what's around it, so we can find out what's on the end of this tree and what's all around us right now. It doesn't look very friendly though, if there's lizard men down there, there's probably going to be more lizard men. And then the last forest we have is Orion's camp, which we saw earlier. Controlled by the faction of Orion, you saw the mission, so we can potentially take it easy if we can draw them out of there, get them to attack us, beat them in that battle, and then we'll instantly confederate the faction. And this one is in the corner of the map, so you got a nice defensive position, only a few heathlands around it to pacify, so this could be a nice easy one to take. Like I say, haven't actually taken it myself in any campaign, but does look like it would be a good one. So that's all the seven forests that you can take, not including Athol Loren, of course. Like I said, you don't need to take them all. You probably only need to take two or three to get to that 500 health of the Oak of Ages. Depends how quickly you want to get there. But of course, that's just what I've experienced. Things are going to be different depending on when you go to the different forests on the map. So for example, when I went to Forest of Gloom a bit later on in my campaign, the one that was controlled by Greenskins originally when I took it in this campaign was actually controlled by Dwarfs in my other campaign. So that's probably going to make it harder to take. So there's going to be changes and variations depending on when you go to the different forests. Now, to try out traveling to the Sacred Pools to see if we can take it, we're going to go for it. We've got the little symbol to let us know the world routes is available. We only had to wait two turns. So let's boogie on down there and see what the hell we've got around this area. Because I actually have no idea. We use this little button. Do we want to traverse? Yes, we do. Durthu's here now. He can now take this. There is no army here. We're going to try and take it straight away. Easy. There we go. Easiest forest take you've ever seen. But... Depending on how long we can hold on to it and what's around us is really going to determine whether this was a good idea or not. And raised settlement over there. Oh, lizard men around us. More lizard men, it's a. Uh... So, yeah, there's a bunch of lizard men factions around us, which is, uh, you know, not the easiest faction in the world to try and battle with, especially if there's a bunch of different factions of lizard men around all coming after you. So, if I want to pacify these heathlands, it's going to be a bit of work. It's quite a nice spot though. It's kind of in the corner again. And of course I could always bring over a second army if I want to or raise one here. So we've got options to make it a little bit more doable. But yeah, we've got all these different trees, all the different choices. When you start your Orion or Durthu campaign, you get the free choice of which tree you want to go after. So hopefully this gives you a little idea of which ones may be the better ones to go for first. But like I say, it could be a different experience for everybody depending on when you go to which tree or which time. 
things are going to get changed up for everybody. So it's going to be an interesting experience and it creates a good bit of replayability because if you go for the Forest of Gloom in one campaign first and then in a different campaign you go for it as your third forest, it's going to be a different experience on both of those times because different things will happen with the AI faction. So it's an interesting mechanic, a little bit different, gives us the mobility to move around the map into different environments a lot too, so that's pretty cool. Overall, it's a nice fresh take on the Wood Elves, definitely an improvement. When you heal any one forest as well, you get some amber, which you can use on some nice technologies to make yourself even stronger. So it's just a case of healing these forests, and over time, they will heal the Oak of Ages. You get that up to the 500 health, do the battles, win the campaign. So it's a pretty simple mechanic overall, but it does mean we need to manage kind of four or five different little kingdoms all going on at once, which is kind of different and kind of fun. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how the new rework works and will help you make a better decision on which tree you decide to attack. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will see you in the future.